Faya Bantao. I'm a visual artist from Bacolod City in Negros Occidental. And I will be sharing my experience during my residency in Barrio Butanding in Palawan. I work with paper and several image transfer techniques and digital collage. I usually start with taking pictures. So before, before I, I even create a concept or I come up with a concept, I just take anything. I just take photos of anything uh, in trips or in every day. Really, I'm not really thinking of my final works yet, but I, I also have um, this image in my mind that I would want to capture. So I would try to look for places where I can take photos of them, like um, the forests or mountains. I would say I dream a lot like nightmares but um, also I would also think that from movies that I watch uh, I, I love watching documentaries of nature so I guess that images were embedded in my mind before I would take um, like polar like images of the the sceneries it would come out from my Polaroid that it would look really dreamy. So it feels like I'm in my dream. I've always been fascinated by the things I've read, I've been reading online. And um, I guess part of why I applied is because I wanted to, to have an awareness of what has been happening here in Palawan? There, it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. But also, I have, I have seen how, how people, how the destruction has been has been happening. There's there's um, a lot of issues, illegal loggings, the kaingin, the mining. It has been really overwhelming, like um, going to one place to another. Every place we went to, it has reached history and culture. Um, it has really been such an amazing experience that that I have like um, this feeling that I have seen in texts, in articles, in books. It's right in front of me already. Like going into caves, it's it, it was my first time going into into an actual cave, and. Uh, the experience was unfamiliar, but it was good. It feels like going inside my painting. I will be doing a different approach in terms of um, in terms of of the process of doing the work. I will be doing a a weave, a paper weave, um, resembling the amakan. Um, normally, I would fold paper squares and put them all together. Um, visually, it would look like a banig or it would look like a tapestry. But um, with the sawali weave, it feels like, uh, as an artist, I am also interweaving the stories that I have been uh, hearing here in Palawan or I have been hearing during my residency. My experience goes with those weavings. I also noticed when we went there that the banigs, it's not just, it's not just a trade, but also a, that's, it's how they tell the story of, of their, the way they live. It, they would depict like chainsaws, um, trees, mountains because that's where they live that's where they that's where they see so artists would would also would also like to to tell stories i think that's how they they make the awareness of uh, to other people we we can't just always see the perspective from ourselves we also have to to, to seek that perspective from other people.
Palawan has its glory and its darkness. Um, it is something that that people would 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 disregard, I guess, the darkness side. But but for me, I would want to know know it better. Palawan has its beauty, but also at the at the back of the of, of it all, it there's so much destruction happening. Um, for me, it's an important part of of me as a person because I also have to recharge and and find find where my ground is. That's why I seek refuge in in nature and um, just even staring at trees moving, the sound of the birds, and um, staring in in staring blankly in seas the gushing of the waves it it really it really suits me it's, it it recharges me nature is bigger than us so so i would want them to see that it is important to do this conservation works to be able to preserve them and for the next generations to see what 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 we saw It's kind of my first time living alone in in the middle of the forest. Technically, it's a forest already. Um, I have so much fear. Like I I I I'm afraid of snakes. I'm afraid of toko. I'm afraid of lizards. But I have to overcome all that all that just to just to just to experience, just to embrace them all. It's I think the feeling of and familiarity and 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 um, and me being afraid of things, it makes me it makes me create more.